Okay, and welcome back for students who are taking Math for Business and Finance and Math Applications. And once again, we're doing Chapter 2, the Summary Practice Test Problems. In our last video, we finished with number 9, so let's jump over to number 10 here. Okay, number 10 says, complete the following using the cancellation technique. Um, this technique, the cancellation technique, is highly important. It's how you uh, you know, you need to be always trying to reduce to the lowest terms as much as possible. So, um, you know, pay, you know, understand it and use it every chance you get. So let's rewrite this. It's three quarters times two fourths times uh, six ninths. Okay. And all we're doing here is we're just trying to find wherever we can possibly cancel out. That makes sense. Right, so if I have a 3 here and I have a 9 here, so 3 and a 3 can go once, and 3 and a 9 can go 3 times. Over here I have 2 can go into 2 once, 2 can go into 4 2 times, and that gives me a 2 here, so I can um, 2 can go into 2 once, and 2 can go into 6 over here 3 times. And uh, 3 over 3 is 1, so 3 into 3, 3 into 3 is once, so I can't reduce any more, so 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 4 is 4 times 1 is 4, so my answer is 1 quarter. Okay, All right, let me just quickly do that again. All right. 3 quarters times 2 fourths times 6 ninths. Now, the reason why I'm doing it again is you go back and watch how I did this one, but there's no right or wrong way to, of doing this. I mean, I started out with taking this 3 and the 9, okay? Well, I could have went and said, well, I have 2 over 4 here, so, you know, I can reduce that to the lowest terms. 2 into 2 goes 1, 2 into 4 goes 2 times, and I could do the same thing with 6 and 9. I could say 3 can go into 6 2 times, and 3 can go into 9 3 times. Notice that I used a different order than I did before. So using the cancellation technique, there's really no right or wrong um, uh, order to go in. Um, it's just what you happen to see. And if you happen to miss a cancellation, all, you know that's fine because all that's going to happen is is that you're going when you arrive at your answer, it's going to be um, you're probably going to have an opportunity to reduce that answer to its lowest terms. But what we're doing here using the cancellation technique is we're trying to reduce to the lowest terms first. And so that we end up with our answer and not have to reduce there. Um, you know, so just be aware that you're, it's, you're canceling either when you're working with the equation or with the answer by trying to reduce to the lowest terms as much as possible. So let me continue on here. Um, two can go into two once, two can go into two once. Okay. And then I have 3 into 3 once, and I have 3 into 3 once. Okay. And I can't reduce any more, so 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, and 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. Same thing, different way using the cancellation technique. Again, there's no right or wrong way of, of uh, canceling. Okay. Let's move on to 11. And this one says complete the following using the cancellation technique. So I have 7 and 1 knife times six sevenths. Okay, the first thing is is that this is a mixed number, so I need to convert it into a fraction. So nine times seven is 63, plus one is 64, over nine, times six sevenths. Okay, well, now that, that, that everything is in fractions, I can start uh, canceling. So three can go into six two times, three can go into nine three times. Um, and that's just about it, right? So I now multiply across. 2 times um, 64 is 128, and 3 times 7 is 21, all right? And since that is a, an improper fraction, we need to convert it um, into a mixed number. So if I take 128 and I divide by 21, I get, let's see, yep. 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So 6 um, times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. And I have a remainder of 2. So 
and I have 6 and a remainder of 2 over 21. And that's my answer. Okay? That one was relatively simple. Again, it's a matter of knowing the concepts and applying them just like a tool set. You know, if you're trying to build uh, a workbench, you know, your woodworking or whatever have you, you're building a treehouse, you know, you know, when do I use a saw? When do I use a hammer? When do I use a screwdriver? It's, you know, that's what math is about. It's having the tools, understanding the concepts, and applying them when you need them. Okay, summary practice test 12, number 12. Okay, complete the following using the cancellation technique. So I have 3 sevenths divided by 6. Right. Now, remember um, that when we can't just automatically divide. Whenever we're going to divide fractions, what we want to do is we want to multiply and invert the fraction. So 6 is a whole number, and the equivalent is 6 over, is six over 1. In other words, if I have a, a whole number and I put it over 1, 1 can go into 6 6 times, and that's why I end up with 6. So this is my fraction for a whole number. So I've just converted this to 3 7 divided by 6 over 1. However, I'm not finished. I still can't divide. I have to multiply. And when I multiply, I have to invert the, the fraction. So I have 3 7 and I multiply, and I invert the fraction of 1 over 6. And if you don't understand that, you know, go back to one of my other videos um, in doing those problems. Um, I explain why that's inverted uh, to give you that idea. All right. So here we have, um, you know, uh, we're going we're going to multiply, and now we can cancel. So three and the three goes once. Three and the six goes twice, and so that's one oh one times one is one, and seven times two is fourteen. So my answer is one fourteenth. Okay. okay. The big thing is is understanding that when you're dividing, okay, and you have six over one, right, you multiply and invert. That's how you that's how you do the division. You have to take this step in order to be able to divide because we can't just automatically divide. We have to multiply. Right? Next problem. Thirteen. A trip to Washington from Boston will take you five and uh, three fourths of an hour. Okay. Right. If you traveled one third of the way, how much longer will the trip take? Okay, um, let me see here just real quick. If you had uh, watched the videos in the additional set of word problems, the problem was 2.61. Okay, you can go back and watch that video. Okay, and that's exactly the same as this one. Right. I'm on a trip from Washington to Boston, so from and I'm mentally this is the way I'm thinking about it. I'm going from Washington, from Washington to Boston. Okay, and it's going to take me five and three quarter hours. If I've traveled one third of the way, so let me divide this up into thirds. That's one third, two thirds, and three thirds. If I've traveled one third of the way, in other words, I've traveled this far, okay, then this is how much more I have left to go. So basically what I did was, as I said, since I'm dividing into thirds, the whole trip is, is three thirds because I'm dealing with thirds. Okay. If I've, I'm sorry, if I've um, traveled one third of the way, I subtract that one third. That means I have two thirds left to go. Okay. So if you've traveled one third of the way, how much longer will the trip take? Well, if the entire trip took five and three quarters, all I need to do is multiply it by two thirds because that's how much I have left to go, and I will arrive at my answer. Let me convert this because we need a we don't work in mixed fractions, mixed numbers. We work in fractions. So four times five is twenty plus three is twenty three over four times 2 over 3, okay. and we can cancel. 
2 and the 2 goes once, 2 and the, two, two and the 4 goes 2 times. So I end up with 23 times 1 is 23, and 2 times 3 is 6. And since that's an improper fraction, we have to convert it into a mixed fraction by dividing the denominator into the numerator. So 6 can go into 23 3 times, and that's 18. So 18 from 23 is 5. So I have five, uh, 3 and 5 sixths hours left to go as my answer to the question. Right? And if you went back to um, problem 2.61, you know, I discussed doing it from the other perspective of taking uh, the 5 and 3 quarters and then multiplying it by the 1 third. Okay, I'm sorry, 1 third. And that will give me how far I've traveled. And then I take how far I've traveled from the 5 thirds. I subtract it from the 5 thirds. And that would then give me the same answer as this. Um, go back and watch the other video to see how that's done. I'm not going to do it again um, because I prefer doing it in this method. Okay, All right. Next question. Oh, sorry, I'm already at 11 minutes, so I'm going to stop here and pick up with uh, question number 14 in the next video.